Well hello there my beauties and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to transform into the supervillain Harley Quinn from the movie Suicide Squad. Harley Quinn, a play on her real name Harleen Quinzel, was a psychiatrist treating the Joker at Arkham Asylum. During that time she fell in mad love with the Joker, becoming his main squeeze while also losing her mind. At some point, she is pushed into the same chemicals the Joker was once subjected to, altering Harley's complexion to a bleach white that is very similar to the Joker. She's extremely athletic, dangerous, and her devotion to the Joker makes her downright lethal. Today, I'm going to show you puddins how to recreate Harley Quinn's makeup look from the movie Suicide Squad. If you want to know how to achieve her look, then just keep on watching. So let's take care of those eyes by popping in some blue contacts. So next I'm going to be priming my skin with a primer that adds a lot of hydration and this will also prep my skin for the foundation we are going to be using for this look. I'm just using one of my go-to primers on a dual fiber brush. So Harley's skin is pretty pale and it was not naturally like this. Her skin was bleached after being pushed into a vat of chemicals, so to recreate that bleach white complexion, I'm going to be using a super light foundation mixed with a white foundation mixer. Blend this onto your skin until you fade into the background. Really though, keep working until you've reached the desired paleness. I have a light to medium skin tone, so I had to keep on layering and layering until I got that desired color. So next I'm going to set my face using a white face powder to lock all that foundation in so it doesn't go anywhere. This also adds more coverage and a lot more pigment to this white base we're creating. Next I'm going to be contouring with a very cool toned powder that will not add any warmth to my face but will help me sculpt it into Harley's bone structure. I took this powder into the hollows of my cheeks and then I contoured my nose to make it appear thinner. I went back into the white face powder to help everything blend together seamlessly. I also wanted to draw some attention to my nose, so I did add some highlight to the bridge to create some dimension. That way my nose won't just disappear into the rest of my face. I'm going to be filling in my brows with an ashy, taupe colored brow powder and I'm not going to be changing up the shape very much because me and Harley have a very similar shape going on. I'm just going to extend my arch and add that darkness back into my brows. After I fill in my brows, I always like to set them with a clear brow gel and by doing this, this is going to add more volume and also keep them in place as well. So Harley has a very smudgy eyeliner look going on, so to recreate that I'm going to be taking a liner that smudges pretty easily and I'm going to do exactly that. I'm lining my waterline and then my lash line and I'm just going to go and smudge this out making it look very messy and smudgy. This does not need to look perfectly smudged so don't be afraid to really mess this up. So Harley has the red shadow on her right eye and it looks as though it's smeared down the side of her cheek. It reminds me a lot of a paint splatter so that's exactly what I did. I just went in and pushed down on the brush, moved it around a bit, and I also applied this to the lid of my eye and also my lower lash line. On Harley's left side she has the blue and I'm just taking an aqua shade and applying this the same way I did with the red but exaggerating it a little bit more. If you take a look at some pictures of Harley, the blue seems to be smeared a little bit more than the red. I applied this on the lid and just kept adding in color as I go. The key is to make it look as though her eyeshadow is running or smeared, so don't be super precise. The more random, the better, and the more realistic and smeared it will actually look. So next, I did apply some mascara and some natural looking false lashes. I used the mascara to blend my real lashes into the falsies. I went in and drew the heart tattoo on Harley's cheek using a liquid liner. Just take your time with this and make sure the heart is on the tip of your cheek right where your lash line ends. After I drew in the heart, I went in and drew the rotten tattoo that she has by her mouth. Start a little farther back and take your time with this. Drawing backwards lettering is not the easiest thing and what helps me is taking a look at a reference picture and going one step at a time, even if it takes a while. To make these tattoos look real, I went back into the white face powder and I layered it on top of the tattoos to make it look as though they're beneath the skin and not just sitting on top.
For Harley's lip color, I went with a true red shade. I decided to line out my lips first to get a precise application. The color of the red she is wearing is not orange, but it's more of a bluish medium red. Her red is also more on the matte side most of the time. Feel free to smear the red or leave it just like this. So like I've mentioned before, Harley does have super pale skin, so if you are cosplaying her character or taking any full body photos, you might want to replicate her skin tone using a water activated paint or a body paint. What I did first was wet my brush, dipped into some body paint, and basically painted the areas that will be showing, which is a lot because Harley's costume is pretty revealing. To blend up the body paint, I used a damp sponge until there was no streaks or any patchiness left. And lastly, Harley's two-toned hair. If you have platinum hair, you can use a hair chalk, a dye, or a washable colored spray to achieve her hair color. If you are a brunette like me, you might want to try a wig. You can use chalk, spray, or dye on a wig, or you can also purchase the Harley Quinn wig, which is also available online. Harley does have some hair ties in her hair that match her two-tone mane she's got going on. For this, I just used some blue and red ribbon, tied it in a knot, and cut the excess off. She also rocks a lot of gold, so clip on a gold ear cuff, safety pin earrings, and any other gold bracelets or cuffs that you may own. But gold is definitely what she wears all the time. So this is my finished look on the supervillain Harley Quinn from the movie Suicide Squad. I hope you puddins enjoyed this tutorial and make sure you let me know who you'd like to see me cosplay next. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.